Now, Halo Wars is an interesting series. It's a an RTS game on console aimed at the Halo demographic. So, okay, so w- w- what's, what's our target audience here? At what point are we saying we know who we want to hit with this game? Well, it's... it's, it's while it's not a bad game, it's a game that kind of doesn't belong. Yes, <laughs> kind of does it, it have does, any place. Of all the genres they could move into, <laughs> yeah. like I would, I would assume an XCOM style shooter would fit better than this. Do you know what I mean? But yet mm. here we are with Halo Wars Two. Talking XCOM, a lot of the voice actors sound the same. Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah. You know, um, but, but look, Halo, Halo Wars Two, like Halo Wars One, was was fun to play. Yeah. Um, and, and if you're a Halo fan and you like the the story and the the, the background, and everything, I mean, you, you're gonna you're gonna love it anyway yeah. because because you, you're part of that sort of Halo universe. Um, and and Halo Wars Two does that pretty well. It's yeah. it's a different story, obviously, to Halo Wars One. Um, again, I don't know why they always have the the AIs going crazy and yeah, stuff. Yeah. It's a little bit weird how they design them. If you're gonna design an AI, I don't, don't do well, that. Well, they, they make them, yeah, self-terminate, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Halo lore, you have to read three books and about 7,000 pickups. Also, for. they're very dramatic. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if yeah. I'm writing an AI, I'm not going to make it dramatic. But, um, <laughs> the question becomes, we live in a world where all exclusive Microsoft games end up on PC anyway. So the question becomes, we have the limitation of the PC control, of the Xbox controller, not being as much of a limitation well, anymore. Yeah, well, if I must say, <clears throat> having played for a little while, the... the They've put a lot of effort in to make things like grouping of units and yep. selecting of units work well on the controller. So they put a lot of effort into that. Um, and it does work pretty well. It is playable. Yep. Getting around the map quickly, and that's one of the things you find with it, where the real-time strategy is moving to positions on the map, that's still a bit clunky because yep. you've got that limitation. You can't just go straight to a mini-map. These sorts of games are always better no matter how you play them on a keyboard or mouse. Yes. But in saying that, they've done a pretty good job of making the controller so you can select different units, group units, and, and jump between bases and units around the map pretty well. And once you get the hang of it, it works. So, but I mean, that said though, what is this game's appeal? Is it really, hey, Halo isn't just this one That's it, pony. you've already said it. Okay, right. <laughs> because <laughs> cause that's my question. Like, StarCraft obviously has the three tribes competing against each other, yep. like the three races. <clears throat> Um, Command and Conquer, you know, had a similar kind of thing going on. They knew what they were trying to do. There was a, a cool thing, and this has that as well. Obviously, you've got the kind of the different factions yeah, well, fighting each other. Yeah, well, this one you got you got a a separate faction of brutes, yeah. uh, a breakaway faction that the Covenant couldn't destroy. You got a a, a bunch of Spartans, and which is good. They got Spartans, and yeah. and as true to Halo lore, you got male and female Spartans as yeah. well, mixed up in the missions, which I think some people will really appreciate. Yeah. And you've come back out of out of hypersleep. The war is pretty much done, and they've got this planet full of uh, brutes, a, a bit like the Covenant. Yeah. They're a bit more brutal than the Covenant, and you've got to combat against I them. would say the big thing is it has a single-player campaign, which the other ones don't really have. Actually, StarCraft's single-player was okay, but it, it really pushes the single-player campaign. But that said, like... Will you be playing a lot of Halo Wars? Will you be going, you know? I don't mind Halo. I think it's fun. If you're a Halo fanboy, you're going to love it because it's Halo. And they do everything else like that really well. 